So just a couple of days after revealing the 32nd trailer for the new ancient Greece civilization coming to rise of kingdoms, they release an extended version of that trailer that shows us a ton more. And I got to say two things. First of all, my girl looking good in this trailer, boys. Look at the eyes. Look at the arrow pointed at my throat. She could kill me in any second. This is uh, it's Bay. Artemisia is Bay. She's such a bad bitch do oh my god the second thing is that my timeline theory from my original analysis video seems to be 100 on point i'm actually kind of surprised at how accurate my predictions were given that i didn't even know there was a longer version of this cinematic if you missed my analysis video i will drop it in the description below but we learned a couple of things from the longer version of this trailer the first of which is obviously the confirmation of of my theory that this is sort of an abstract timeline because in this super badass moment where Leonidas is staring down the arrow from Artemisia he walks away to see Greece burning and then the entire sky shatters and essentially it pulls Leonidas into sort of a different timeline I guess and this is where we first meet our new legendary commander now hey guys future Omni here and they actually did just reveal who the two new commanders are coming to the game with the release of ancient Greece and that is Pyrrhus and Pericles so the original assumption that the epic commander would be Pericles was true uh, the assumptions that we are getting Achilles not true we are getting Pyrrhus there's going to be a couple of ways to get both these commanders but primarily it's going to be the silver chests gold chests the expedition shop and then Pyrus is going to have his own event I guess that you can get uh, sculptures of him the treasures of Pyrus event so that's going to be pretty cool and then also Pyrus is confirmed to be getting a new relic coming to the game and he'll be in the daily special offer and card king for those of you that are giga whales from this update notes I don't see anything that is confirming like buffs for the civilization troop type or anything like that so stay tuned for more updates on Greece in the coming days as we learn more information okay back to the video but let's get to the real reason that I'm making this video and that is Leonidas Prime okay in this trailer which Lilith if you're watching this has got to be hands down your best trailer by a mile some of the Viking stuff was cool some of the Egypt stuff was awesome but this is incredible whatever team was responsible for this trailer should get a raise they should be in charge of more things of more marketing okay this was hands down the best cinematic that rise of kingdoms has ever made and i'm super hyped for it like this was ooh, it was amazing anyway near the end of the video leonidas sort of goes super saiyan okay i mean he just absolutely pops off and we get to see literally a cinematic version of his active skill and just destroy the oncoming persian uh advance and this was the best ending of of the video that we could have hoped for but one of the things that i got a ton of in the comments and probably the number one thing that was commented on my original analysis video was leonidas prime okay a lot of players are suggesting that because there is such a heavy emphasis on leonidas being a part of the new civilization trailer that perhaps we will be getting a Leonidas Prime I think another reason why players feel like this could be the case is because Leonidas for a while now has been very underwhelming he has not been very meta in Rise of Kingdoms uh and here he's shown to be super super cool super powerful just like a formidable foe going up against this Persian army and I think a lot of players want to see Leonidas be in his prime I mean this is Leonidas literally in the prime of his military career and as much as I want that to happen I really don't think so I really just don't think so okay and I have a couple of reasons why I think that we're not going to be getting a Leonidas Prime but we could be getting something very similar to it 
which we're going to talk about later in the video but the first thing that suggests to me that we're not going to be getting a leonidas prime is the design of leonidas in this uh in this cinematic okay if we take a look at his design here in the trailer and then we look at his design here in the game he looks identical he looks the exact same and we know from the existing prime commanders that they have some sort of visual difference cpo prime looks very different than the regular cpo and of course Utica prime looks even better than regular Boudica. and finally there's some differences with joan of arc prime and regular joan okay they may be subtle differences but they are there we do not see really any differences at all between this leonidas and this leonidas they are the same leonidas it seems to me and the other thing that we know about prime commanders is that it always takes an epic commander and turns them into a legendary commander and of course as you guys already know uh leonidas is a legendary commander himself okay he already is legendary now let me just be clear uh, so far we've only had three prime commanders lilith can do whatever they want if they feel like leonidas deserves a prime version they could do it i mean they would be breaking sort of the trend but they never came out and said that only epic commanders would be prime commanders they did come out and say that they plan on turning all existing epics into primes eventually uh, or at least a good chunk of them but they never said that it was a process exclusive to epics just that only epics were in their plans at the time but they couldn't change their mind they could do literally whatever they want uh, it just seems like for me they are probably going to stick to their uh prime treatment only going to epics if i were to bet if i were to guess i would say that only epics are going to get primes i just noticed that he's standing on a crushed pillar that's actually super cool i never noticed that also there's typically a difference in troop type when it goes from regular uh commander to prime commander um you know we saw that joan of arc went from integration to cavalry we saw that Boudica went from leadership or whatever Boudica epic is i don't even know integration yeah she's integration as well we saw that she went to archers then of course we saw epic Scipio go to uh infantry right so with Leonidas I see no reason like based on this trailer for him to change right like what are they gonna do release I mean maybe you could argue that he would be a leadership prime right like he would go from legendary infantry to prime leadership that would be the only sort of thing that I could see changing I can't see uh you know this Leonidas being cavalry or archers or ranged I mean there's nothing in this trailer that would suggest that and I just don't really see them you know turning him into a leadership commander I mean maybe I I really have no idea however the other thing we have to keep in mind is the timeline of commander releases right um and if we look at sort of the next cycle of commanders that we're expecting I believe the next cycle is supposed to be cavalry uh and they're just I mean they're not gonna put Leonidas prime in a cavalry uh, cycle if he's not gonna be cavalry I think it's pretty clear that he wouldn't be cavalry based on this video if the video even was depicting a Leonidas prime which we've already discussed based on the design I don't think it is so really I, I just don't see any way that we get a Leonidas prime uh because I think you know if he were to come into the game at the time of Greek launch it would be around the same time as the next cycle of commanders which again is cavalry now I don't want to crush your dreams entirely because one thing that I think is very possible and I almost can guarantee that this will happen eventually uh and that is a relic for Leonidas okay uh we already see a ton of relics in the museum and we already have confirmation of all of the season two commanders having a relic uh and I just have to say we've only seen Khan and Saladin and for the love of God why Alexander is desperately begging you for the relic that we already have confirmed where is it it's been months since we have the confirmation of these relics it's almost like it's been so long since we heard about these relics that they almost should just give us the level two of the relic right on rip like it's like the, from the moment that we learned about the relics until the the time that we're actually going to get all of them they're already outdated you know what i mean uh so lilith where are the relics boys like we need them desperately we needed them two months ago so that's one thing but lilith did confirm that they do plan on adding relics beyond season two commanders okay now they didn't specify so technically 
they could implement relics for epic commanders that would fit into the into the technicality of what they said but again i don't think that they would break that trend it's not really a rule but it does seem to be a trend i think that the process by which lilith upgrades epics is through the prime system and the process by which they update legendaries is through the relic system that's how it seems to me so i think that a relic for leonidas is not only plausible but basically guaranteed it's just a matter of when now if we were to guess when this relic would come about uh, i would say we're pretty far away just based on how long it's taking them to implement the relics that they've already announced let alone relics that they haven't even probably started discussing yet which would be uh you know season three commanders and beyond so I, I do think it's coming um and Leonidas would probably be one of the first relics to or the first commanders to get a relic from that set of commanders but it's probably going to be a while but it doesn't have to be and that's one of the things that I hope Lilith realizes is that yes of course you know the the relics are coming out in the same order roughly that the commanders came out and the reason for that is because the older commanders are the ones that need a relic the most right that's the logic behind it but if you look at Leonidas's kit like yes obviously you know you would be sort of breaking the release the release order that they've been going with but I think if a legendary needs a relic quote unquote needs a relic or needs a buff uh then why not just give it to them why be so strict with the order with which they release why not release them for other reasons right and I think from a marketing perspective if Lilith wants uh, you know th there's two reasons that you know they implement new civilizations first of all it gets existing players excited right it's something new into the game it's not a massive change new civs are very small buffs uh but there's like a cosmetic refresh to the to the new civilization right it's a fun thing that you can do for role-playing purposes or whatever the case might be right uh, so th there's that and it keeps the old players uh, engaged and excited but more so and this is the big reason that Lilith implements new civilizations is for a large summer marketing push that is the biggest thing when we saw the Vikings come into the game there was a mega marketing push when we saw the Egyptians come into the game there was a big big marketing push and now we can see sort of the exact same trend happening with ancient Greece and so that is why this is coming but my point is uh, that right now Lilith has an interesting opportunity that you know they didn't really have before I think when Egypt first came into the game the relic system was relatively new and we saw that Moe's get his own relic on launch but now we've had the relic system in the game for a long time and implementing a relic for Leonidas at his launch is a tool that Lilith has right away during the launch to celebrate an existing and old commander that is clearly playing a, a significant part in the marketing and release of the ancient Greek civilization so what I'm saying here is that yes you know if they did release a relic for Leonidas uh, upon the launch of ancient Greece would it make sense for what they've already been doing no it wouldn't especially because we're still waiting on a majority of the season two relics however would it be beneficial to them to do that I think yes I think this is a slam dunk probably the best move that they could do for existing players right the new civilization coming out is mainly for new players to get new people interested in the game but a new relic for an existing commander that a lot of players already have and is a good budget value build a 5511 leo would be you know if he had a really powerful relic that would be huge for him right uh and i think that this would be an amazing thing to do for existing players in rise of kingdoms i would be hyped about it i think you guys would be hyped about it because a lot of people wouldn't expect that right it would be it would be breaking the order of the of the relic release cycle and it would come out of nowhere and that big surprise of a leonidas relic i think would be epic i think that would be super cool and that would get me even more excited for the ancient Greek Civ than I already am. And why stop there? We have Artemisia playing a big role in this trailer as well. If they're going to implement the, you know, Leonidas versus Artemisia, the uh, Spartans versus the Persians as a big part of this marketing push, then let's see a relic for Artemisia bump to the front of that line as well. Imagine, you know, given a choice to unlock a Leonidas relic or an Artemisia relic 
early let's say you could only pick one of the two and then you would have to wait to get the other one until it's officially released right i think that would be such a cool event and something that they've never done before with a reward that we've never gotten before uh especially at a time where we see the currencies for the museum are so much harder to get than they've ever been having a full relic unlock be a reward for a new civilization drop would be incredible i think that would be super super cool it would be super hype and i hope that they consider doing it uh do i think it's gonna happen probably not i think eventually we will get a leonidas relic we will get an artemisia relic uh, but i suspect if i were to be realistic about it the soonest we would see it is probably a year from now that is my assumption unfortunately uh which again in my analysis video i predicted that next year we'll see persia as a sieve uh so perhaps you know around the time we're talking about Persia we'll be talking about the new relics for season three commanders but that's just my two cents on that now if we did get a relic for these commanders or shall I say when we inevitably get a relic for these commanders I think it's pretty safe to assume that we will get them eventually uh what would I want them to be okay first let's start with Leonidas because you know this is the this is the star of the show here for ancient Greece and I think that there are two things that they could do for Leonidas that would really help him out a lot okay the first thing is bump up the direct damage factor to eight or nine hundred okay uh you know obviously I would love for it to be even higher than that but realistically it's already a 50 percent damage bump uh, if the enemy is silenced so you know I can I can see where that might even out sort of and remember you know the purpose of relics is not to make a commander broken or OP or meta it's just to like kind of bring them up to like a usable level right and right now I would argue that Leonidas is unusable okay um for many reasons one of which is his damage output so if we went from 600 to let's say 900 okay I think that would be really nice on top of that he needs probably 15 percent march speed or 20 percent march speed or something like that or let's say give him 15 percent base and then his second level is 20 or 25. i would say that would be huge for leonidas and that would give you a reason to even look at him right because right now kind of the main reason that nobody uses him with guan yu anymore is because the meta there's so many fast open field commanders right now right everything that is meta has march speed and guan yu has a little bit of march speed on one of his skills but the problem with infantry is like you know yes you look at somebody like Boudicca prime she only has a small amount of march speed as well but archers are a little bit faster by, just by default in the open field right so when it comes to infantry you kind of have to give them even more right you have to give them even more march speed than you would normally expect for archers or for cavalry uh, and I think that Leonidas getting 15 percent would make that Guan Leo combo something that you might consider to use again okay will it be your primary infantry army no probably not but maybe as a secondary or tertiary infantry army that would be lit and as for Artemisia if she got a relic I would say probably 10 or 15 percent archer attack would be really cool and probably 10 percent archer march speed i think that would be a nice fair thing for artemisia considering that she's already pretty good i mean people still use artemisia to this day with Boudicca prime now really i think that's her only use case so she is dangerously close to being power crept out of the meta but the fact that she's been around for this long is insane and if you gave her anything else that's super crazy you might like make her overpowered or make her garrison meta again or something like that so you know i think there's a lot that artemis is already good at but the march speed would be huge for her she's very slow and just a little bit more extra damage with like 10 percent attack or 15 percent attack i think would be really nice for artemisia's kit and that might keep her around a little bit longer for the Boudicca artemisia pairing Lilith please give me a reason to max my Leonidas he is one of the coolest designed characters you've ever released in Rise of Kingdoms and he's forgotten collecting dust at 5512 I literally won a mightiest governor to get this uh the second skill to five and this uh fourth skill I got extra points I threw it on there please give me a reason to max him I want to use Leonidas I want to use him he is badass and I just 
can't so please let's see something awesome happen for your boy guys with that being said if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video and comment down below what you think do you think that we would ever see a prime version of a legendary commander and do you think they would ever bump up the release of a relic just for marketing purposes i think they should i think it would be awesome i would love to hear from you guys down below and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace